Have you started taking whey protein powder and noticed that your skin is freaking out? In this video, we're going to answer whether whey protein causes acne, what you can do about it, and other protein powders you might want to consider for clear skin. So a quick hello if you're new here. My name is Fiona and I'm a registered nutritionist with a master's degree in nutritional medicine. On this channel, we talk about how to eat for great skin because true skincare starts on your plate. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the subscribe button because it really helps the channel. So kicking off with does whey protein cause acne? The answer to this is yes, but also no. Whey protein doesn't cause acne in and of itself, but it can trigger or exacerbate it in people who are already prone to breakouts. Either way, on a personal level, the effect is the same. You start taking whey and your skin flares up. Now, there have been a few studies looking into this and you know how I like my evidence on this channel. We won't look at all of them, don't worry, but I think two of them in particular are worth looking at just to help us understand this. We'll be brief. The first one looked at men and women who were taking protein powder, most of which was whey-based. And here's what happened to their skin. So at the start of the study, the average person had 17 zits or 17 spots. And by the end of the two months, that has shot up to 54. Or put another way, at the start of the study, roughly half of the men and women had acne, but by the end of the study, all of them did. Now it's important to note that this study was uncontrolled, which means they didn't compare it with people not taking protein powder. And it is possible that all these people's acne could have flared for other reasons. Now that's where the second study comes in. This one compared 100 young men with acne with 101 young men with clear skin, and they looked at their protein powder consumption. And it turns out that the young men who were consuming whey protein were almost three times as likely to have acne. Now look, this research is far from perfect, but the data we do have suggests that whey protein can exacerbate acne in some people. But how do you know that whey is contributing to your acne in particular? There are a few clues to look for. Number one, you're taking whey protein. Now I know this sounds really obvious, but what is less obvious is that there's often a two to six month delay between starting the whey protein and the acne developing. So you could have been taking whey protein for six months and the acne is only now just been beginning to show up and that can make the connection harder to make. Number two, the usual treatments just don't work. Other research suggests that things like retinoids and antibiotics and benzoyl peroxide just don't do anything for acne while people are taking whey. And number three, the acne is on your body as well as your face. We don't really know why but whey protein also seems to drive acne on the chest, the shoulders and the upper back as well as your face. And number four, numbers one and three apply to you and you're also a woman. Data shows that the effect of whey protein tends to be worse in women. And again, we don't know exactly why, but it's likely because biological women are hormonally a lot more complex than biological men. This leads me onto my next point, which is why does whey protein trigger acne? Now, before you skip this section, I think it is important to understand so that you don't go cutting out loads of things unnecessarily, which is often something I observe. And again, we'll be brief. In short, whey is a form of dairy. You might not realize it, but whey is the liquid stuff that appears when milk curdles. So the solid parts are the curd and the liquid part is the whey. Now what manufacturers do is put this liquid part through an extensive filtration process to create either whey protein isolate or whey protein concentrate. Both are essentially super concentrated forms of dairy. Now the reason this is an issue is because we know that dairy can exacerbate acne in some people, primarily because of how it affects hormonal function and also cell signaling pathways. In fact, one meta-analysis, which is like a large study of studies showed that for every extra serving of dairy people had, their risk of acne went up. Now, as I said, whey protein isolate and whey protein concentrate are super concentrated forms of dairy. In fact, a daily serving of these is equivalent to drinking six to 12 liters of milk. Just let that sink in for a moment. Six to 12 liters of milk. No wonder it can do a number on your skin. But the reason I am pointing this out is because the dose makes the poison. Not all dairy is bad and you just wouldn't sit down and drink 12 liters of milk in one sitting. So just because you might be sensitive to whey, it doesn't mean that you have to cut out whey and all dairy from here on out. Obviously, allergies and sensitivities are a different issue, but in my experience, people who react to whey are still fine with the odd bit of cheese, the odd bit of yogurt, or maybe even the odd bit of whey that crops up in a salad dressing, for example. You don't need to freak out about it. 
So experiment and see what works for you. And remember, the best diet is always the one that is as diverse and unrestricted as possible. Having said that, if you have noticed that taking whey has correlated with your acne, then you might want to step away from the whey protein for a while just to give your skin the chance to settle down. And actually, research backs this up, showing that when people stop taking whey, their skin tends to clear. So what can you use instead? This comes down to why you're using whey protein in the first place. And this typically falls into one of three scenarios. Number one, you're trying to build muscle. Number two, you're using protein powder as a meal replacement or in a smoothie. Or number three, you're just trying to eat a higher protein diet, perhaps because you've heard it's better for you. So let's break this down and look at each scenario individually. Number one, if you're looking to build muscle, then you might want to consider pea protein instead. And this is because a couple of small scale studies have shown that taking pea protein protein can lead to similar gains in strength and performance and body composition as taking whey. This is likely because like whey protein, pea protein is also rich in those branch chain amino acids. Now there are lots of pea proteins on the market but my personal favourite is this one which is New Zest. They use a water extraction method to extract the protein and there are no fillers in it so as protein powders go it's minimally processed. Now the flavoured versions do have quite a strong stevia flavour which I don't love but you do kind of get over it and two scoops of this will give you a pretty respectable 20 grams of protein. Okay so let's look at the second scenario which is you use protein powder as a meal replacement or in a breakfast smoothie which I know lots of people do because it's quick and it's easy and it's filling. For this I would either use beef protein isolate or a blend of plant-based proteins. Beef protein isolate doesn't taste like beef, I mean it does have its own kind of flavour but it's not beefy and it also has an extra little benefit for your skin because it also tends to be rich in collagen. In the the US a great option is the Be Well Beef Protein Isolate and this comes plain or in various flavours. Now that one isn't so available in the UK and in Europe but a good alternative is the Hydra Beef Beef Protein Isolate. Now this one can be a little trickier to mix, it does clump a bit so you'll want to make sure you're using a good blender if you choose this one. Whichever one you choose, whether it's one of these two or another one, you want to make sure that the beef comes from grass-fed cows. Now, if you prefer a plant-based protein powder, another good option is to get a blend of pea protein and brown rice protein, because together they provide ample amounts of all nine essential amino acids, which is great for your general health and also great for your skin health. Forms Pure Blend is a good example of that. This one does blend really well into smoothies. It tastes nice and it gives you about 15 grams of protein per serving. And lastly, let's talk about the scenario where you're just trying to eat more protein, perhaps because you've heard it's good for weight management or body composition or just it's generally better for you. In this case I would really advocate trying to eat more whole food sources of protein and this is perhaps an unpopular view but protein powders are fundamentally a processed food. They of course have their place and they can be really useful but as a general rule of thumb your body does better with whole foods. To get around 15 to 20 grams of protein in a meal you could eat a cooked chicken breast, you could eat three whole eggs, you could have a cup of Greek yogurt, you could have a large handful of prawns or shrimp, or you could have a chia pudding made with three tablespoons of chia seeds and a couple of tablespoons of flax seeds. I will frequently have a three egg omelette for breakfast. I always have Greek yogurt in my fridge and I don't so much at the moment, but I have gone through phases where I'll batch cook chicken at the start of the week so I have it on hand to throw on salads and things, for example, as the week goes on. With a little bit of thought and preparation, whole food sources of protein can be just as convenient and quick and easy as a protein powder. So to sum up, whey protein can trigger or exacerbate acne in susceptible people. The acne can develop up to six months after you start taking the whey protein powder and it may also appear on your chest, your shoulders and your upper back as well as your face. Stopping the whey protein powder can help your skin to clear. And instead of whey, you can try pea protein, beef protein isolate, a blend of plant-based proteins, or just plain old whole food sources of protein. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, you'll like another video I've done on foods that promote clear skin, which I'll pop there for you. I hope to see you there. Otherwise, I will see you next time for another video on nutritional skincare. And thank you for watching until the very end.